What's up, guys? It's Sam, the Raid Man. And I had to hop on and show you this. If you have not seen my Void Chard video, go ahead and check that out. We're opening some Void Chards this weekend. Had some pretty good luck. Pulled a Void Legendary that is new to me, and I thought I'd test him out today. So I took him to 60, ascended him, got almost all of his masteries. I'll get one more, like Sniper, um, in a little bit. But I wanted to test him out, and as you can see here on my screen, it's working pretty phenomenally. I mean, this is nightmare clan boss right this is my normal team well slightly different um basically the the guy that i pulled i'm not gonna spoil it yet in case some of you are still hanging out if you haven't if you want to watch that video go watch it it's pretty exciting it's a short video i try and keep my shard pulls as short as possible so it's just the action that you're watching um anyways this champion is normally is in the same slot that mishinaki normally is and if you can't see on the screen, it is Careless the Ringer. And guys, he is bonkers. So I know his kit just off the top of my head, so I can tell you exactly what he does. His kit is um, AoE on the A1 with a chance of decreasing the duration of all buffs. And A2 is attacks all enemies, has a chance of placing Hex and Weaken. And he's not booked. He only has two books. They both went into the A1, which is awful. Um, this is him right here. So his skill cooldowns will be lowered once he's booked, and that's going to make him infinitely better. It will also increase his chances to 100% for both the Hex and the Weaken. Um, and then his A3 is very interesting, and that's kind of what's making him a Hydra Beast. Um, not that, I mean, Hex and Weaken are both great. That definitely helps. Um, his A3 is an AoE freeze, and if he freezes everybody then it de decreases their turn meter by 100%. So it's nasty. It's like the Armand's, the freeze version of Armand's. Because Armand stuns and then decreases turn meter by 100%. He may actually steal it. So Armand's slightly better in terms of crowd control. But then the downside of, of freezing typically is that when you freeze, you do less damage. But his passive is you ignore 10% defense when you're attacking enemies under freeze. If he plays it, you're actually ignoring 20%. So... He, he helps a lot with that like penalty that comes from using freeze champions. But the really interesting part of his kit is typically it's like, oh, if you don't land it, you don't land it. You know, you don't, you don't do anything. That's not the case for careless careless. You can see it right here. It's got this freeze. Basically if I get resisted or if I get blocked or if they're immune to freeze, like all the Hydra heads are, he fills everyone's turn meter, everyone in your team's turn meter by 10% per blocker resist. So I'm going to try and place freeze on all four of these heads. All four of them will block that. So it'll be a 40% turn meter boost. So look at Siffy here. She's just under 50%. I use this ability. She's at full. I mean, essentially at full. I mean, it is crazy. And once this is on a lower skill cooldown, it's going to be unbelievable. I mean, I'm blown away right now. I think the most I've ever done is like 60 million in Nightmare. And you can see I'm currently doing 120 and we're still rocking a little bit. I mean... This is nuts. So you can see right there, I didn't get Weaken. I did, didn't get Weaken. And didn't get Hex or Weaken over here. No, maybe I did get Weaken, I'm not sure. Um, so definitely like having those books will help. I'll show you how he's built in, I'll probably cut, um, or not cut, let's like speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all of it. I wanna see how long we can take this. The key for this team for sure is like empowering Carolus by using Shamail. So Shamael, whenever we attack the Head of Torment, is going to give him a ton of turn meter in which he's going to start using more A1. So you can see it right here. We're going to hit him. Careless gets turn meter. He counterattacks, gives him more turn meter. So he's going super often. His two hits, like the ability we want to get to is the turn meter boost. But both the other abilities are AoEs. So I, I don't have that one ready. So I'm just going to A1. But that hits the Head of Torment and everyone else. So then Shamael is going to start counterattacking and feeding us more turn meter. Now, the reason I chose to start this video mid-run is because it was going so well. And I've had really good RNG. Let's get a Hex back out. We got Hex and Weaken pretty much everywhere. Um, we've had the Head of Torment just basically keep coming back. Like The section where I started this video and he wasn't out was probably the longest we have gone without Head of Torment. If there's four heads alive, he's almost always been one of them. And so that is so huge. And when you're running a Shamail team, that's exactly what you're hoping for because the Head of Torment is almost a cheat code with Shamail. The worst thing that can happen you build a Shamel team, you kill the head of Torment, and he just like never comes back, which sucks. So we've definitely been pretty blessed here. Let's look at someone super low. Like obviously Shamel's full, Krisk is full, Husk is half. 
Um, but look at someone low like Supreme Gaelic. Boom, over 75% turn meter now. It's it's huge. There have been so many times where I'm like, I need to get Chris Provoke back, or I need to get Supreme Galix or Ultimate, yeah, Supreme Galix um, block buffs back, and that turn meter fill has just come in so clutch. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up, and then I'll come back at the end. We'll look at his build and the total damage.
probably the end there. Um, had a little bit of a rough patch with like the people being devoured really quickly. Like you can see how quick the devour timer is going down, and then uh, poison cloud going out. So that hurts. Um, Supreme Gaelic is like a weakness, I guess, is that he doesn't place. He does it through a hit. So you need to not weak hit. So he can't place the HP burn through poison cloud. I'm relatively confident. First of all, I've never gotten this close to the turn count limit. I know we're still like 280 turns off. I've still never gotten this close. Um, I'm pretty confident once we get Carillon fully booked uh, or and or with Sniper that we can probably get there. Granted, we still had good luck, but we, you can see it comes and goes. We had some bad luck too. So final damage, 147 million. I think that doubles, if not triples, my max damage on Nightmare. So... Pretty bonkers. You can see Carillon to 24 million. He doesn't hit super hard. We do have him with crit rate. I think because he has two AoEs, it's a waste not to put crit rate on him. But he's, I wouldn't build him like with attack and crit damage. Like Speed and accuracy matter and survivability matters a lot more. And you can see the same thing for Supreme Gaelic. Like, I actually rebuilt him because he was dying like three turns in. Like two hits from Head of Wrath and he was dead, basically. So I built him with like low damage and way more survivability. Like 1,000, 1,200 more defense or whatever. And... He's surviving way longer and still doing great damage. He has the number one damage on the team at 48.45. Husk, just under 40 million. Chris, just under 10 million. Two AoEs. Warmaster, just doesn't really hit hard. You don't want to build on the crit damage because your ally protectors take crit damage based off of how much ally uh, crit damage you have. Um, Shamael, respectable, 22. Siffy, 1.4. Doesn't even have Warmaster. Only has a single hit on the A1, so... That's not what she's here for. She did 5.4 million in healing, though. Supreme Gaelic did a lot of healing. Chris did a lot of healing. Chris does place heals on himself. Supreme Gaelic, I think, heals on one of his abilities. Anyways, we are definitely keeping this result. You can see Hydra Nightmare. You can also see that this took an hour of my life. <laughs> um, but I think worth it, both for the sake of this video, testing out a new fun champion. This makes me much happier. I wanted the Krizia. Krizia is better, but this guy's way better than I expected. So it's tough to be mad with this. Like he is enabling this team. I'm in fifth in my clan here out of eight of us. We got some big hitters though. That's kind of nuts. I have all of those champions. So I need to test out the Nia Imic video. And then I don't have Nekmo who's in all these top three. I don't have the Archer who's there. Don't have Sulfurion or Grezur. I have almost all these champions except for Nekmo. And I don't have the Archer. But... So far, I think I'm the only one using Carillon. There's a Night, Night Queen. Anyways, uh, let's go over his kit one more time. Um, I think I told you guys about it, but we'll show it to you again. His A1 has uh, 35, now 40% chance of decreasing the duration of all enemy buffs. Books to 50, so that's pretty solid. That's like the worst priority. You want the books to go in the A2 and the A3, but that's not bad. Like... And Hydra is not amazing because you don't want them to get buffs, but they do at some points. Like it can be a little fail safe that can help. Like if the mischief buffs, you know, steals and tries to spread but doesn't work and he's got a ton of one turns, you can maybe do this and shred it down to zero. Um, there's the AoE Hex. So this is a three turn cooldown. So there's no cooldowns here, but this is 100% if he's booked. So I need four books here. Um, that's the Hex and the Weaken. If they're frozen, he places Hex and Weaken for three turns. But again, you can't freeze these heads. And this is a five turn. This is the fills the of all allies by 10% for each free, but freeze debuff blocked or resisted. When this book's into a three turn, we are going to be rabbiting. Like we're going to be going so fast. 40% turn meter every three turns. And he's getting that boost by Shamail. And he's boosting himself. Like it's huge. Um, he's going to be like my budget Nekmo. Not even budget. My Nekmo thought replacement. I don't even think it's budget because he brings that hex too. And the weekend, which weekend is nice because. Sometimes you can bring in decreased defense champions. Krisk is kind of like my substitute for that here. Michinaki was doing it prior to this guy. And decreased defense is more important than weekend, but it definitely matters a lot. And so now I've got some decreased defense and pretty consistent weekend. It will be extremely consistent once we have the books. Um, so that's a really nice buff or a nice part of his kit. And then this is the ignores defense, which doesn't matter. 30% speed, uh, speed in arena battles. We don't have... We're not playing in Arena, obviously. We went down Warmaster, and then Cycle of Magic. Uh, chance of getting turn meter when debuffs expire, because he does do a decent amount of debuffs with the Hex and the Weaken. Uh, Lore of Steel, because he's got some good sets. 
Master Hector is huge to try and extend the duration of all the debuffs he's landing. And then we want Sniper until he's completely booked. And even once he's booked, I'll probably just leave Sniper on. But Sniper would be a good little buff right now. How we built him, one crit damage, um, one perception, one piece stone skin for a little HP, one piece protection. We don't we didn't build him with resistance. That just happened to be a good piece. Total stats, 50,000 HP, 2,300 attack. Again, we're not building it for damage. 3,000 defense. These are the numbers I care about more than the damage numbers. 256 speed. I put 250 as my minimum. I did build 100 crit rate. I actually did have 271 crit damage. I didn't realize the dam crit damage was so high. Um, accuracy, 374. And then in Hydra, it's a little bit higher. 406. Um, 280 in the crit damage. So those those things definitely do help. Those little arena area bonuses. So maybe... Maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe we just want like HP with more accuracy or something like that. Definitely continue to test. He did some damage, but it's like each of his hits are doing like 10k, 20k. Um, but it is an AoE, so I don't know how much that's worth. 24 million is good, but I'm wondering if we make him tankier. He is not dying a lot. I don't know. Definitely continue testing. Might test him out this Thursday night on stream. Uh, the goal is to stream every single Thursday night. We're going to start doing some account takeover as like rebuilding clan bosses teams for subscribers and potentially giveaways in the future. So tune in this Thursday night. Hopefully I'll see you all then. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.